Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 5. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 5. For of this you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greed person, such a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with the empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore, do not be partners with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as your children of light. For the fruit of the light, constant in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleased the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deed of darkness, but let expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient to in secret. But everything is posed by the light, the camps and the valuable, so visible. And everything that is illuminated and becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up sleeper. Rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. This morning, I would like to encourage you, according to especially um, verse 9, the fruit of light. You are a children of light, no more children of darkness. Yeah, Because of you are a children of light, uh, and no more uh, live in the darkness at all. Yeah, You live as your uh, children of light. And then no more live in the darkness. We are once in the darkness, but we are live in the light. Therefore, what is the fruit of the light? Fruit of light is all goodness and righteousness and truth. Can I say again? All goodness, righteousness and truth. If you have this fruit, goodness and, and righteousness and truth, I know you are a, a children of light. And if you're a child of light, uh, and then you cannot deceive by darkness. And therefore, verse 6, let no one deceive you with the empty word. Some people try to deceive you. Let no one deceive you with the empty word. Because, you know, you live in the light. And then those who are, are living in the darkness, they try to deceive you. In the last day, please, we need to wake up. Wake up. And that is why wake up or slumber, uh, uh, sleeper, and then rise from the dead, or Christ will shine on you. Wake up. In the last today, we need to wake up in Christ Jesus. Yes. Uh, um, you know, I was in London yesterday, and then I arrived in Newport in Wales uh, after midnight. I'm to sleep, and I wake up, and then. I attended a conference uh, all day long today, and then I'll go back to London tomorrow, and they keep on praying for me. And uh, but you know you can wake up in Christ Jesus spiritually. Of course, when you live in this world, uh, Satan is like a roaring lion, try to attack, attack anybody. But you need to wake up in Christ Jesus, and you need to come out from the immoral or impure or greed, and then idolater. All these things you need to come out. You know, this uh, uh, foolish talk or, you know, cause joking, all these things, is, which are out of place. Yeah? That is uh, uh, not in the kingdom of the Lord. Therefore, you need to wake up in Christ Jesus and they show us the fruit, which is the fruit of light. All goodness, righteousness and truth. This is the fruit of uh, light in Christ Jesus. You know, when you no longer live, but Christ lives in you, you can bear the fruit of righteousness. And then this fruit of light, which is called goodness and righteousness, and truth is will follow automatically. And then have nothing to do with the fruitless deed of darkness, but let it expose them. You know, what is your job? You can expose the, all the darkness by your life, because you are a light. You know, when the light go, and then, you know, light is go. I mean, it's so, yeah, go together. But when you turn on the light, the darkness is gone away yeah, instantly. Therefore, my prayer for you, you are a, a 
children of the light and you have the fruit of light. Therefore, you can bear all goodness, righteousness and truth in your life. No one deceive you. And, and yeah, you are more than conqueror in Christ Jesus. And everything is exposed by the light. Yeah, everything is exposed. Yeah, exposed by the light and becomes uh, visible. Everything is invisible will be visible through your life. And my prayer, as you are a light of the uh, world and salt of the world, and then you have the fruit, fruit of light, and uh, all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Dear Heavenly Father, give us your grace and your mercy. You can bear the, this beautiful fruit of light, which is the all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We are our children of light. We are no more children of darkness. Dear Heavenly Father, we bless you. We give you all the glory and honor and power. Father God, cleanse our heart, our mind by the blood of Lord Jesus. Forgive all our sins. We love you, we bless you. We trust in Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit take control of our life. Forgive all our sins by your blood. And we trust in Jesus. You can bear the wonderful fruit, fruit of light, all goodness, righteousness, and truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all our brothers and sisters and, and have a wonderful day today. And then last night I was drive, driving over almost three hours. And thanks be to my sister Sunny called me from her house. She prayed together over two and a half hours. And uh, yes, she was praying and I was praying. I pray for all your family, Lilia and Elia and Julio and uh, even Pastor John Gura, Brother Lemio. And I bid you, all these brothers and sisters, uh, we came on praying for uh, our family in Christ Jesus. Uh, I was praying last night uh, in my car. <laughs> uh, we love you, bless you, have a wonderful day. Keep on praying for me and then pray for our journey. And then uh, just let you know, Friday evening, Pastor Ahn, he will share the word of the Lord on Friday evening at 8 o'clock. Please do come at 8 o'clock Friday. And Saturday, Saturday morning section at 10 o'clock in the morning to 3 p.m. Uh, on Saturday. And you know, it's a free lesson on Saturday. And Pastor Ann will be teaching and preaching. I will translate his Pastor uh, Ann from South Korea. And then, yeah, Logos Bible College offer for everybody to come and study. Praise God. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Bye now.